Hi, this is a video presentation of how to use Vassal. Uh, first, just do a Google for the Vassal Engine program, and you'll come up to vassalengine.org. Click on the Download section, and then you choose which operating system that you want to download uh, for your computer. Download and execute that program, and once it's downloaded and installed, you'll just run that little program, click Next, 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 and all the way through the setup program and then that's the base program itself uh, you'll have to get a module so if you click on the modules section you download the modules and all you really need to do is create a folder just name it modules uh, and save your modules to that folder just for for organizational purposes and find a module that you like and then you save that module uh, to that folder and then the module is available to you then you open up the Vassal program and when you first open it it'll be blank mine has a bunch of games in it and you will um, one thing that's nice to do is go to server status and then you'll have to slide this to the right, I believe, when it first opens up. You can kind of see who's online and which game right now. So you go to File, and then you open the module. And uh, when you click on that, it'll open up the program. Oops. So there's the module we just downloaded. And the first time you open it up, it'll ask you for your username. You can pick anything you want. Pick a password that's easy to remember for you. And because, uh, you know, if you ever have to erase your computer or use a different computer, that password would be important to use. Um, you can look for a game online, or you can start one offline, or you can load a game that somebody sent to you to kind of look at what they've sent to you. But uh, typically, you're going to load it online. So if you go online, you look to the right here, and you'll see we have a room, main room, and uh, if you want to play a game, you can go into the test room here, and let's clean this up a bit, so we can see everything. And most Vassal modules work pretty much the same way. Uh, you can have a new game here. and it'll show you the map. You can see there's scrollable bars up and down, left and right. There's charts on the board. A couple buttons up here. Uh, this one un undoes your last move. If you're watching a, a game that somebody sent to you, you can step forward through that. You usually don't use that. Extra pieces are kept here if you need to pull a piece onto the board, like that. You can click it to hide away. If you need to roll a dice, you can click dice there. So, each game has different pieces. Some have like a, a time track built in, like this one. Uh, some have charts, which kind of help you out. And uh, so let's, just for fun, take a look at a different module. So we'll look at the Battle Cry module. After you've opened it the first time, it'll be in this list here of all the games that you have in your modules folder. And then here we can do a game online again or offline. We'll do online. And you can see that there's nobody in the main room waiting there. And uh, if we did find somebody that was interested in the game, we just start a new room. And we're down here. The other person would right click and join the room and come into the room with you. You just pick a scenario from the list under New. Pick which side you want to be. You'll be one, the other opponent will be the other. And then the map shows up. So in order to see the game that somebody else is doing right now, you go into the room, you right click on their name and select Synchronize and that will copy all their information to you. So now anything that they do to their board, uh, you'll be able to see on your screen. So, uh, for an example, we've got a 
place a hand of where we keep our cards. We can drag and drop cards into here and our opponent cannot see them. You can right click on a card and flip it. And you can play a card to the board. You can right click on a card and discard it and it'll be here. And then you can order each individual unit. So I'm going to right click and order here. Move the unit. You can see a movement trail here. And then you can do things such as set attack markers. Uh, again, each game is a little differently than the other ones. And so we've got uh, a range here. We would calculate the range and look at the top here. We could calculate how many dice that we roll. And then if there was a hit on that unit, we could right click on it and select take a hit. And sometimes it's hard to um, differentiate between that little marker there and the actual unit. So if I click on the blue space you'll see there's a different menu. If I click on this little red thing which is a, an attack marker. So we've got basic movement here, we've got an attacker, we've got a def uh, defender. We rolled our dice, we're going to take a hit. You can see that the movement's going down. And then if the unit's defeated completely, we just drop it over to the uh, trophy row. After we have so many of these uh, for this particular game, um, that's it. So, let's try another module. <laughs> Some modules have um, online tutorials built in. So you can see this one says load tutorial. You can follow that and uh, press page down in order to watch the tutorial or you can do the same thing here as, uh, as far as looking for a game online or you can start one offline which is good for solo mode. So let's say we're playing this one solo and you can join either side if you want just because this game doesn't have any cards there's no hidden things so it doesn't matter if you select which side. Okay so in this game, there's no cards or anything like that, but you can see the same uh, buttons are very similar to the top. Uh, these are all programmed into the module. So you've got undo. So if I do anything like this, I can always select undo and reverse it. Okay. The uh, retire markers, if you want to change sides, you can roll different number of dice here. Pieces, if you want to add different pieces to the game, you've got different tabs here, markers, units, things like that. You've got notes. Some, some of the games have uh, scenario notes tell you special rules of the game. You've got charts. Charts tell you about the unit types, things you can do. You can click on different tabs and see all the summaries. Um, you can click on the turn marker here. This brings up the turn marker. And as you're playing the game, you can just press up and down, and that takes you up through the turns. Or you can click on end your turn this module is designed to automatically move forward uh, on your turn and clear the markers at the end of the phase. So again in this unit you can see you can uh, right click and select attackers and targets and you can do basic movement, you can do firing, you can take hits where is take hit and then you can also do a rally if you wanted to you can add extra leaders to the game or artillery, put them in, create your own scenarios. So another thing I wanted to show you is, let's say you're in the middle of the game and you decide that you uh, you don't have time to, to to finish. You can click Save Game and save this to your desktop. And so if you close this, and you can pick it right back up where you left off. So you can go to File load game and it'll pick up right back where you left off same game so you don't have to worry about the cat moving the chits or your kids spilling a drink on top of your board whatever another thing you can do is log a game so this is great for creating tutorials or whatever but what this does is it records every step of every action that you take in the game. So you're doing all these movements, attacks, and different things happening back and forth. And so it's being saved. See, it says logging to htl.log, and then you do end log file. And then when you uh, want to re-watch the game, you basically just go to load game, and then you do that htl. See, it says vlog here. So now to scroll through these, you just press 
page down, it'll scroll through all the steps. Really nice for watching other people's games, mm -hmm. helping you uh, learn games, things like that. You can see the term markers over here. Again, each individual um, game is different, so you just have to play around with the modules. And I hope you enjoyed this basic tutorial and introduction to Vessel.